up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon merchandise news and reviews. Today I am unboxing another Mandrake Monthly and I am so excited because it has been a while since I got some purchases from Mandrake. I actually got a slew of items from a couple of different stores and decided to get them all ordered at the same time. So let's go ahead and break into these two boxes and see what I got. Okay, so as with all of my Mandarake orders, these are different items that have been available for quite some time. However, Mandarake sells them at pretty fair prices most of the time. So it's a really great place to go if you're looking for used items that are still in great condition. So this first item that I got says Sailor Moon on the front with a bunch of pretty gold foil silhouettes. When you open it, this is actually a collaboration with a company called Floyd. So Floyd, I believe, is available in different uh, stores in Japan. However, uh, since, you know, I'm not in Japan, I decided to order them online. Each of these is wrapped separately, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife and cut into these. Okay, so as you can see, this Floyd collaboration with Sailor Moon features a whole bunch of very, very cute miniature plates. And each of these plates, there's five of them total, they feature uh, one of the insignias for one of the inner Sailor Senshi, and they also say the name of that Sailor Scout. So we have Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. And they're also color-coded too based on the different sailors. These are really, really pretty plates and I think they could be used for like soy sauce if you wanted to, or you could stick little hors d'oeuvres on them and serve them to friends. I think they're just lovely, lovely plates, and they'd be really pretty to display as well if you don't want to actually put food on them. I love that when they are all together, they have this awesome color scheme going on, and each of them features this, this gorgeous ombre airbrushing on the front too. So they are nicely well made, and I love them. And you can totally tell that there's a trend going on here. I kind of really enjoy collecting plates for some weird reason. Okay, this second box is full of items. I ended up purchasing a whole slew of different products from Mandurake for this order. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into these as well. The first one that we got is the Moonlight Memory Series Makeup Pen. So here it is, it's so cute. Okay, so here is the pen itself. It looks awesome, I'm so excited about it. And look, it's an actual pen, which is really cute too. Yes, I figured it out, yay. Okay, so this pulls off like so, and then it clips back in, but there's a battery compartment on it, so it actually lights up when you press down, and that's freaking awesome. So you use it as a pen, and it also lights up. That's really cute. I love it. It's so awesome. And yes, if you were wondering if I am getting the Makeup Disguise Pen Proplica, I am totally getting it. It looks amazing. I can't wait to receive it too. So I'm gonna put this back in the box for now. So I also received some coasters because I'm all about that coaster life. First off, I received Sailor Star Maker. Then I received Sailor Neptune. Very cool. And I also found Sailor Mercury at a amazing price. So I had to get Sailor Mercury as well. Slowly but surely, I am collecting all of these cute pot coasters and one day I will have all of them. I also received this super cute little necklace that features a little Usagi bunny on a crescent moon with little stars. This is a classic vintage item uh, and I just thought it was really cute. I'm not going to take this out of the packaging because I think it looks really cute displayed on the packaging itself uh, but I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to display it back here with all of my other Sailor Moon goodies. This item that you see here is also from Qpot and this is the Luna Jar that has a bunch of competo or little sugar stars on the inside. I love sugar stars. They're one of my favorite candies. And every time I go to Japan, I'm, I like collect them because I'm so crazy about them. It's yeah, definitely my favorite candy. And they also remind me of my favorite Sailor Moon movie, Sailor Moon S. So this is a really pretty display, but also I'm going to eat the crap out of these. I don't know if they're still good, but I'm going to eat one anyway because YOLO. Yeah, they're still good. I mean, they're sugar, so can't go wrong. All right, next up we have another Q-Pot item. This is a collection of postcards. These postcards are pretty rare to find at a good price. So I bought them from Mandrake because they were a good price, but you have all of the Sailor Senshi in here and each of them are wearing these really cute dresses that you've seen in all the Q-Pot advertisements. And the back of them have all of the Sailor Senshi signage 
for all of their signs and it says Q Pot Sailor Moon. A very pretty item that I'm never going to use. This is a vintage pairing of a cute little hand towel that features Sailor Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon and it says Sailor Moon at the end and it has a whole bunch of cute little daisies all around it. And it also came with this adorable little bag. And this looks like it's a plastic bag with mesh sides on both sides. And it's a teeny tiny purse, like for a child but you know you could always put things in here and that's what I'm always looking for is places to put all of my things. It came with this ribbon too. I don't know what the ribbon goes to. I'll have to figure that part out. These are the Sailor Moon Store collaboration keychains and both of these came out in the winter of 2017. Uh, so I missed out on them because I wasn't using a proxy service at the time. So I found them on Mandraki for a nice cheap price and decided to go ahead and get them. One features Usagi in a really pretty acrylic snowflake and the other one is an acrylic of her Fuku bow and it has a little bell at the bottom. Now I believe this this is a Nakayoshi item. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So this is a <laughs> so this is a children's backpack. It has two straps on the back of it, so you can stick it onto something as a backpack. And actually, now that I look at it, this would be awesome to go over the handlebars on a bicycle. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is stick this on my bicycle because it kind of matches the color scheme of my bike too. But it features Chibi Moon on the front with Luna Pete and Diana and it says Sailor Chibi Moon and it's only two toned, two colors and it's just a very simple little bag because you know me, I love my bags. All right, let's see what's next. I'm just gonna grab something. Ah, okay, so this is the Twin Lip Cream Rod Miracle Romance Lip Balms. So we have two of them in here. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna see what they look like because I've been so curious about them. I've seen them online forever and I wanted to get my own because I like collecting makeup items. But here we have number one, which is, aha, there we go. Oh, it's blue. Weird. We have the first lip balm, Sailor Uranus. I don't know if I should be putting this in my mouth or anywhere near my mouth since it came from Mandrake and they have like used items, but kind of just did. They don't look used though. They look like they are brand new. Like this person never took them out of the packaging. So if I ever sell these, I'll have to like warn them and be like, I put my tongue on the thing. So FYI, don't use it <laughs> or sanitize it at least. But uh, both of these are really pretty. I like how shiny they are. And I like that they are a normal size of uh, lip balms or chapsticks, if you will. The display box for these are really pretty too because it has a clear front so you can easily display these without taking them out of the box if you want to and they also have a pretty silhouette of Uranus and Neptune as well. Ah oh, yay! I'm so happy about this item. What happened to my knife? Okay so I have been collecting these really cute keychains. This one is Chibi Moon. So these are all of these Sailor Moon Cafe acrylic keychains. I have quite a few of them now and this is one of the ones that I was missing. It was a great price on Mandarake as was everything. So I decided to go ahead and purchase this. It has a very cute display of some art of Chibi Moon and she's holding this very cute dessert that has a Luna Pea ball at the top of it. So I really like this one. A couple of smaller items. I received a pen that features Sailor Moon on it, and it looks like it's Super Sailor Moon. This is a vintage pin, which if you are looking for vintage pins, Mandarake is a very good place for them because they price them pretty low, around like five or six hundred yen each, which equates to a little bit less than five or six dollars. To go along with the makeup collection, I also got the Miracle Romance Makeup Moisture Rouge 2017, so this is from last year, and this is also the disguise pen. I was definitely feeling the disguise pen during this time of shopping. So this one simply pulls off the top like so. It does not light up, so there aren't any batteries in this one, and it is a Moisture Rouge. So this does come out a very pretty hot pink color and it looks like it's very very moisturizing I might actually use this because this one looks new as well. It looks like it's just completely untouched However, before I start to use this in my makeup collection I will definitely make sure that I wipe the top with a sanitation cloth Just to make sure in case somebody else put their lips on it if you want to keep this one in the box It does not have a clear front to it. So it'll be hidden on the inside. However, the box itself is pretty cute It has some nice little art of some stars around it along with the silhouette of Sailor Moon. 
Two posters. I got this one. It's actually a mat, but I decided to get the poster. The front of it features all of the different Sailor Senshi. The back of it features Sailor Moon all by herself. Now if I take this out, you'll notice that it's actually paper. This one is paper right here, but it's a very, very pretty piece of art of Sailor Moon. And this one's kind of like a clear folder. It's kind of got a transparency to it, like you can see, sort of see me through it, but it features all of the different Sailor Senshi. Very pretty. With that one done, I also decided to get this one of the five inner Senshi from the Sailor Moon Cafe. It's also really cute, and it's also slightly transparent, so it's not completely opaque. And that one came with this placemat, which is also made of paper, and it also has the five Sailor Senshi in it. The last couple of items, uh, it's pretty rare to find a Q-Pot item of jewelry on Manjurake. They seem to go pretty quickly, so if I do see one that I wanted, I go ahead and put it in my cart, like, immediately. But this was the one that I found. It's from the third collaboration with uh, Q-Pot, I believe. But when I open this, you will notice that it is the very awesome crystal. It's very pretty. It features kind of a blue sheen to it, as well as a little bit of a pink sheen throughout. It is made out of the same kind of like silicone-y material as the silver crystal that they came out with this year. And it also has a nice heavy chain too, and it features a Q-Pot logo at the very top. And last but definitely not least, we have this item, which is from the Sailor Moon Classic Concert, uh, which happened, I believe, last year and on the back of it it says the kiss which i think is a jewelry line but this is a beautiful necklace that i decided to purchase which features some really cute little musical notes throughout it's a pretty gold color and it also has a really cute little usagi on the inside of it uh, i love the book that they put this in it looks like a book so you can line it up next to other ones if you have other ones which i do uh, which you'll see in a future episode but i really enjoyed how gorgeous this necklace necklaces and how detailed but dainty it is as well. So it's really easy to wear this with like a dress or something nice, like a date night, for example, and not feel like you're overdoing it on the Sailor Moon fandom, which I sometimes do. All right, so that is everything from my Mandarake Monthly. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite item was from this collection. I'm super excited about using all these different products. I think my favorite might be the Moisture Rouge because that feels like it's ultra moisturizing and it's also really, really pretty. Uh, but let me know what your favorite product is I want to know and like and comment below if you have any questions or if you want me to see anything reviewed in detail on a further episode. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Johnny.